Mr. Frank and Rice was working. I put a, a lot more iron on it here, you can tell. And uh, bolted it all good. Stabled it. Still not, uh, obviously not ideal. But uh, here's the machine and off the jaw bite. little trouble feeding it with my hand. That's taking a 2,000 cut. And it's just doing really, really well. Very smooth. I finally put it on fine feed. That made all the difference in the world by me trying to feed it with my hand and having it being machine fed. Getting a really nice cut across there. You can see it starts to cut on the back there now. But uh, it's just changing the pattern a little. It's not really cutting. I have to do it all this way because as soon as it reaches the bottom there, I'm out of feed. It'll just sit there and run a little turn. But uh, we'll pull her out and take a look at that and then take another two dogs. Now here we are making a 2,000 pass across this uh, jaw bite. Got it on uh, all our feed here. About 5,000 turn or something like that. Really nice surface across there. Well, looks like Frank and Vice is actually working pretty good. I think this will be my final pass. Not too bad. Now here's a pass on the other side of the bike saw. Might be taken off in thousands or something. I uh, squared the vice up with the face of the chuck. But it looks like it's doing pretty good. You can finish up both sides and I'll show you the both sides of the finished product. Well, here's a finished product both sides. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. You can see where the cutter started to come in the back. You can see it but you can't feel it. Same here. We've got a nice crisp edge right here. So this is basically just a, a vice jaw that's going to go in here. So I'm pretty sure that's plenty good for for this. Uh, I just use this little one, two, three block to kind of put things in their square. So it looks like old uh, Frank and Vice milling machine works okay for a fly cutter. And I'm gonna try to mill something else just as a test. Yeah, it's taking a pretty good chunk out of it there. Looks like, of course, this is a round stock mounted in there, and so it's probably moving around a little bit. But it's pretty, uh, pretty nice surface on that. So it looks like it's as far as the fly cutter goes, this is going to hold pretty nice. Here's a little piece of aluminum that's a little piece out of the wheel cylinder. Again, it's not the time to feel good. It's just been there on that flat bike. But it's a... Uh, that off really nice. Now we're going to slow them down on the window. I've got 
got my good bottom jaw in here, but the top one is uh, just not quite square. So that's why it's uh, cutting a little more on the bottom than it is on the top. I think the whole thing is kind of twisted that way, but let's do this aluminum and I get clamped it down pretty good, so I might have been the guy for a little bit. But it looks fine on aluminum. The side of the same thing. I think I got it feeding the wrong way. That's quite a bit. Yeah. Same, then my 
vertical alignment should be pretty close. I'll check it and see it in a second. No, don't even have to measure it. I can tell that it's uh, taking a lot more off of one side than the other. This piece is a, a brake uh, caliper thing. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I just stick it in here again and try a different place on the vise. I'm going to move it down here to the bottom and see what that does. Run it in here until my bit about touches. Check that side, see if it's turning in a different place in the bike, maybe a difference. 